Hello everyone. Welcome to the Drishti IS to the Point program. Our today's topic is heavy metal pollution. First of all, we'll see why this is in news. Recently, the Center for Science and Environment has reported that rivers of India are facing severe metal pollution. Three out of every four river monitoring stations in India have observed alarming levels of heavy toxic metals. Now let's have a look on its recent findings. As per state of the environment report 2022, the river under focus in the Namami Gange mission contains high levels of heavy metals. The report is published by the Center for Science and Environment. The report is a yearly compilation of data on environmental development obtained from public sources. Out of the 33 monitoring stations in Ganga, 10 had high levels of heavy metals contaminants. According to the Central Pollution Control Board, 10 states do not thread their sewage at all. In India, 72% of sewage waste is dumped untreated. Now let's know that what is heavy metal pollution. Heavy metals are generally defined as metals with relatively high densities, atomic weights or atomic numbers. Arsenic, cadmium, chromium, copper, nickel, lead and mercury are the most common heavy metals which can pollute the environment. Heavy metal pollution has been caused as a result of rapidly growing agriculture and metal industries, improper waste management, heavy use of fertilizers and pesticides. Agricultural and industrial operations, landfilling, mining and transportation are primary sources of heavy metals in groundwater. Through the agricultural water runoff, heavy metals reach up to river. Discharge of waste water from industries directly into river bodies has intensified the severity of the heavy metal pollution. Heavy metals have the property of being persistent in plants, animals and environment. Now let's understand the impact of heavy metal pollution. Heavy metals entering the environment may lead to bioaccumulation and biomagnifications. Bioaccumulation, net accumulation of a pollutant in an organism from all sources, water, air and food. Biomagnification, accumulation of a chemical by an organism as a result of water and food exposure. It results in an increase in concentration that is higher than would have been expected from equilibrium. Some heavy metals have an effect on biological activities and growth. If accumulated in one or more organs, it results in a variety of severe diseases such as cancers, skin diseases, etc. Metal toxicity results in the production of free radicals which damages DNA. Now it's time for the practice question. Consider the following statements with reference to the heavy metal pollution. Statement 1. Heavy metals have the property of being persistent in plants, animals and the environment. And statement 2. Heavy metals entering the environment may lead to bioaccumulation and biomagnifications. You have to select the correct statement with the help of the given options and options are A one only, B two only, C both one and two or D neither one nor two. That's it for today. Don't forget to answer in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next session. Till then, Jai Hind. Dear viewers, watch this topic in Hindi on our Rishti IS Hindi YouTube channel.